Does anybody miss the old YouTube where we did like big shopping hauls and drank our iced coffee together and just like had fun on the internet? Hey guys, it's Christina and I hope you are having a fabulous day. So we're gonna do it old school today. I just went shopping at Zara and I've recently gotten into Zara. It's not a place I used to shop, but they opened up a bunch of stores so I was able to like try stuff on and I really really love this store like their stuff is so classy so grab your coffee I want to take it back to the old school YouTube days which I've been on YouTube now for a while and it's definitely changed I don't know things are so different on social media now with like TikTok and shorts and like all this like fast like in your face constant content and i think we're like maybe that's what gen z likes but i'm a millennial and i kind of like the old school like youtube sit down videos where we go shopping and i like show you what i got like they're my favorite videos i love watching them i love making them and like can we go back to that <laughs> all right so let me show you what i got faux leather is having a moment and so i got this vest this is so high quality, you guys. This is so, so nice. So this is black and it has silver buttons, silver details. It's so warm. And I like that it's a vest, honestly, because something's like very constraining about like a big puffy jacket. And while it's necessary to have them, I just really like this as well, like to have options in my closet because I can wear a sweater underneath and yeah like it just makes it so much easier to move around like it's surprising like how restraining big coats can be so i really love this i'm just so impressed with the material it's like fleece and warm inside it keeps your hands warm i love it it's like a nice long length and this is the type of vest that will like forever be in style and you can wear over and over for seasons to come and that's what i love about zara they make like fashionable trendy pieces but almost like very classy pieces that you can wear they don't do lots of patterns like everything is solid colors which i've said over and over like to look expensive wearing solid colors is sometimes better not always but their stuff is just very classy looking to me so i love this i love it so much i bought a shorter version so up next is this nude one and this is a shorter version this one actually has gold buttons which i think are so pretty it has a hood which makes it very functional and this is definitely an oversized fit now i'm going to leave all the sizing in my description box zara sizing can be really really weird this is definitely an oversized fit but i wouldn't size down because you want to be able to wear your your sweaters or like anything warm underneath so i just went with my usual size small i definitely could have gotten the extra small but again i i like it to be a little oversized but i love this one i love that it's shorter and this like the faux leather nude it's really expensive looking and really really soft and just i'm so impressed with the quality okay i guess i'm having like a moment with faux leather and i'm like real into it because then i found this skirt and i was like oh yes honey we have to get this there's a beautiful slit in it and it's completely lined inside with fleece so it's actually pretty warm and they're so smart for doing that because if you ever buy faux leather without it being lined inside it gets like that weird crunchy noise so that prevents it it also keeps you warm and what i love is their faux leather doesn't have that like nasty smell to it you know when you buy faux leather and it smells like fish or like something gross like that like theirs doesn't i haven't had any issues with that but i love this skirt it is so cute it is so perfect for fall there's like a little ruche detailing it's just very flattering and this one is a must. It's such a great price point too. It's $45. Like you can't beat that. I feel like Zara is an elevated version of H&M, which it is the same company. And I personally don't ever really find good things at H&M, but I don't think I've ever walked out of Zara without anything in my hands. Like I always find something. <laughs> so I was going out with my girlfriend who came to visit me and I wanted 
like a cute outfit. So I bought this little sweater to go with that black skirt. And I'll show you a photo of like what it looked like. I wore it with my Valentino rock studs. It was so cute. This turtleneck is so soft. It's not super thick. So it's like a great layering piece. I love the buttons on it. It just like gives that elevated look. And this comes in other colors. It's kind of fitted so if you want it to be looser i would go up a size but i like the fitted look i feel like it's very flattering on the chest area i feel like it really enhances that area and like i feel like it makes them look way bigger than they probably are something about the material so we love that and i like that this also comes in multiple colors i thought about getting some other ones because this is so nice for layering okay and then i had to get this tweed jacket so this is so pretty it has these little buttons on it it's got that tweed look it just like reminds me of chanel very expensive looking but it's actually on sale this was only like 40 something dollars so run get this it's definitely an oversized look this is a size small and the arms are a little bit big on me but i like an oversized jacket so i'm not mad about it they didn't have a smaller size in stores and there was like none left because <laughs> these are on sale and i think everybody likes this like tweed vibe for fall so so good like i just love zara do you guys like zara too and do you like these videos these like old school like let me show you what i bought video I just, I'm really feeling it. I'm just getting a little overwhelmed with like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, and it's, it's a lot. I miss the days where we just all watch like YouTube videos showing each other what we bought, but I did start a TikTok. So if you wanna follow me, I'm gonna put it in my description box. You can see me on TikTok now. I've always had an Instagram, I love Instagram, but TikTok took me a little while. Not sure how I feel about it, but whatever i'm there so go follow me i think only have like five followers right now <laughs> all right guys i will see you in the next video if you like this one i'm gonna leave another one right here go check it out and i'll talk to you later